Hey guys, it's Googly I'm with another ROM review and this time I've got the Sultan XDA Lineage 14.1 version which is a custom unofficial version of Lineage OS made by Sultan XDA with his own personal touch and his own personal kernel. So let's get started. So this is one of the most requested ROM reviews I have uh, on the OnePlus 3 because, well, Sultan HDA is a really truly a legend uh, when it comes to his ROMs on the OnePlus scene. I have already done a video uh, in which I compare his version with the Oxygen OS. You can go check that out in my previous videos, I'll link it in the description below. Now we are going to have something similar but uh, while well, my review style has changed I am adding uh, grades now so let's uh, do that also so let's get started now first of all this is a lineage based ROM now in the forum he also says that he has taken sources from CAF so it does have uh, a little bit of CAF DNA in there so that is really cool you do have that in the about phone page this is the latest version of uh, by the way that is 7.1.2 lineage OS version is 6 May uh, API level is Guava 7 Android patches is May 5th so that is also pretty cool and as you can see kernel version is a custom kernel which is uh, with this ROM and it is specific let's get with the other stuff now uh, being a basic lineage based ROM you don't have anything about this which is normal in the feature section nothing special you do have line stuff you do have live display ambient display is available with uh, all of these uh, pocket mode you do have prevent accidental breakup which is highly enhanced that is pretty cool fingerprint scanner is lightning quick i really do like that in this rom uh, compared to other lineage based roms so that is also an optimization you do have a lot of stuff uh, well sound settings uh, are available gestures are the expanded gestures where you have all of these features also pretty cool tonight in the button settings it is a normal lineage style button customization so you do have long press for torch when the display is off uh, home button customization for long press double tap all of this is available you do have keyboard cursor control which is one of my favorite ones and also control playback that is music playback with the volume keys pretty amazing it does have additional buttons and that does work out so you can use that your alert slider is working so you don't have to worry about that apart from that it does have security features in which a uh, pin lock is available scramble layout uh, show weather on the lock screen direct show pin uh, entry all of that is available so these are all available nothing special here though these are stuff which you are going to expect in a lineage based rom so let's get started with the grading nothing special here it is basic lineage stuff uh, you do have a status bar customization so that is something there i really do like that at least it's there so you do have that so yeah feature wise it is a 5.5 out of 7. now the battery um i have to say this rom is phenomenal with battery life i got consistent four and a half hours of screen on time which is not something i can say for most of my roms uh it's really cool uh, i have used this a lot and the screen on time is consistently four and a half hours and uh, there are other roms where i got four and a half hours screen on time at most but not consistently like this one so i do really like the battle life on this one i'm gonna give it as 8.5 out of 10 on battery life front now it may be that the battery life is better because this one has a uh, the processor speeds underclocked uh, to aid in battery utilization but that also means the performance is going to take a hit and uh, it does take a hit it is about 127,000 and that is probably the lowest score which I've received in the in this department but I don't mind this score because whenever I was playing a game or whenever I was just navigating uh, like this it did not stutter any time it was smooth it is really quick and even in games even in high uh, usage games I did not really have any issues with it I'm pretty sure it is using a boost and uh, that can work out very well I don't really have any issues with that though so that is pretty cool as you can see no issues here and there uh, normally when I get a score of well whatever this is that low score it does show up in games and whatnot but nope not in this one so it's gonna get a score of 5.5 out of 7 still not the best but 
it's doable now stability wise i did not have any crashes whatsoever till the time i've been using this and uh, that's not something which i can say for most of the roms i use uh, no stability issues no crashes i didn't have any issues which are uh, which was apparent to me i'm not entirely sure if there is anyone with issues uh, do let me know though but for now it's gonna get an 8 out of 10. now comes the camera and the camera is where this rom shines i'm gonna say camera wise it's amazing here are a few shots which i took uh, with this camera which is uh phenomenal i mean you can see uh, it is really crisp and uh, really really cool I'm gonna take a shot right now and show you guys how good of a camera this is. I'm going to show you guys a comparison on it also. Now you can see that it is pretty damn good. You can see all the letters clearly, everything is crystal clear and that's not something which I can say for most of the cameras in Lineage and this is not even using the uh, OxygenOS camera port. This is just using the Lineage uh, stock snap camera and that is something I really appreciate uh, now I, you will be seeing a few side-by-side uh, -side screenshots of uh, CM on the left side and Sultan's uh, CM or lineage 14.1 on the right side so you can uh, actually decide for yourself uh, what is pretty cool um, I'm gonna say the camera is one of the best features about this ROM and probably the best camera on a custom ROM apart from oxygen away so yeah camera it's gonna get a 9 out of 10 now comes the aesthetics uh, aesthetically again it's a bit lacking it does have material design which I kind of like but it doesn't have substratum support I mean it has the legacy support for substratum but that's not really cool I mean you can see it is just a legacy support it doesn't have a full-on OMS support which is kind of bad um, I, I, I would have liked to have substratum but Hey, that is what you get uh, so it's gonna get a 6 out of 10 just for that now unique features uh, it doesn't really have any unique features apart from the fact that this is made by Sultan XTA which is a legend so you can probably get that I don't know also there is update option here and this does update the Sultan's version so you can uh, customize that and that does work out really well so yeah that's it now comes the overall experience I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this ROM. I really didn't feel that I would be ra that this impressed with this ROM uh, because of its features. I mean, it's just lineage features and I'm a huge features guy. I like having a lot of features. That's why my daily driver is service selection remix ROM. I like having a lot of features. This doesn't have it, but this still impressed me. I will use this ROM as my daily driver if I wasn't having all of my stuff in Resurrection Remix. So that is just it and uh, yeah it doesn't come with uh, magisk or super sue or super user you have to flash it yourself i flash magisk and every application works perfectly with sue hide i don't really have any issues with that so again overall experience i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 because that is amazing uh, let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation for lineage os and that is lineage boot animation it's been a long time I've seen this boot animation. It's pretty beautiful. It's it's pretty. It's minimal. It's pretty. It just says what it is. And uh, yeah, that is it about this boot animation then. And it finish up uh, like this. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. I've used this and uh, I can pretty much say it's been a very good experience for me. And as I've already said, I didn't expect it to be that good because it doesn't really have a lot of features. But the battery life really impressed me. It is really, really a great battery life giving ROM. And stability and camera. I mean, I didn't really think I would be that impressed with the quality of the camera after using. I mean, I, the last time I used an op Oxygen OS ROM was last year. It's been like a long time. So, yeah, I guess that should be it. The total score is going to math out to 7.21 out of 10, which is right now is the third best score which i've given any roms i guess that much is it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye